we are back on. Once again. Simply that quick. Yes, sir. This is another episode of the Measurable slash Den of Thinking Men. And we are powered by revolt. Well, oh, actually, yeah. actually, we're powered by God. Yeah. But we are manifested by revolt. Appreciate you, brother love. Shot by Cali Vision. Indeed. Because we got, I mean, like, I had visions <laughs> that we would be here in Technicolor. Mm-hmm. Because through the DMs, it was said that they needed to see the brothers. Listen, finally, CC Peniston. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened to me. Once again. <laughs> right in front of my face. How about that? And I just can't not fight it. Spring 91. We are here, so let's just jump right into it, bro. I mean, it's, it's always so much to talk about. Mm-hmm. So much. Mm-hmm. Always. Normally, you know, people are seeing this. I mean, when they're not seeing it, they're hearing it, the yeah. audio. Yeah. But now they're seeing us. Mm-hmm. Um, we were fortunate enough to have a, uh, a revolt dinner. A couple weeks ago. And at that dinner, there, 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 there were plenty of things that were touched on. But the, 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 the resounding situation was, you all have been all audio yeah. for the most part, except for the first episode with Jim Moore. Yep. They were like, we need to see you, brothers. See you, cats. We need to see y'all. Yeah, yeah. And this is male and female. The mass singer. <laughs> <laughs> Unmask and shit. Real talk. <laughs> so the call was so serious that we had to like, you know, come back and just and just be visual. So from this point forward, with God's grace upon us, yeah. hopefully we will be all visual from this point. That is the goal. From this point. That's right. That's right. Usually I start with the topics, brother, but I want you to jump in today, brother. Well, listen, man, you know, you always lead the way, but there's clearly been some serious things going on in the news. Yeah. Um, I think the most pressing uh, issue or story is what happened to the young brother, Twitch. Yeah. Um, the yeah. dancer. Yeah. Um, Ellen Show and had done his own thing with his wife, Talented Cat. Yeah. Just deep, you know, the outpouring of love he's gotten has been interesting and amazing, really. It's, 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 it's fantastic. It's fantastic. I don't, mm-hmm. I didn't know much about him. I remember seeing him on the show. Right. But it opens up a conversation about mental health. Yes. I think we have to address. Um, obviously, I always say there's a dis- distinction between mental illness and mental health. Mental illness is, you know, cats, you know, bipolar disorder, um, schizophrenia. That's a whole different beast. Right. That medication is re- required to get people through that. Right. Like, like I said, I've had homies that have dealt with that. It's ugly. Mental health is something that kind of hides, and we yeah. don't see it as much until Hides it, in the shadows. It rears its ugly head. Some can trigger it. So clearly, this, this brother was dealing with something we didn't know about. Right. Um, I'm always kind of on the tough side of the issue because I really I, I understand the value of life. You know, yes. If you grew up where we grew up, how we grew up, and when we grew up, you recognize that we've seen a lot of young brothers fall on the streets in a way that they didn't deserve. Yeah, tragically. not admirable at all. Didn't Correct. even get to the point where they could even achieve some semblance of success. So when brothers take their lives, it's like, man, I wish you could have talked to somebody about it. Yeah. You know? Well, I, 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 the thing that's always interesting to me is what caused it. Sure. Was it a money situation? Did he lose? Did he lose all his money? Did his mm-hmm. wife, you know, say she's going to leave? I mean, like, the, yeah. it, it, it's not up for me to speculate. It's right. not up for either one of us to speculate because right. you know that brother had a legacy, but he was in front of his Christmas tree with his wife. Like they were doing like a you know like look, a routine look, TikTok dance. Looked like it could be happier. And just and, and, I, I just always think of it from the opposite side of you know the children. Yeah. And his wife. Yeah. Like they have to live with that, and that will be something that will rear its head because we all live 365, seven days, 12 months. Sure. Like, around this time, it'll always be something that reminds them, which is, it's more than anything, it's extremely unfortunate. Yeah, man. Extremely yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. So, upward and forward, hopefully, you know, you know, people who are struggling with you know, mental Mm -hmm. situations, Mm -hmm. they hear voices, whatever the situation, it's just like, it's nothing wrong with like seeking help. Listen, going to talk to somebody. Let me tell you something. I speak, I speak the truth about, you know, my struggles in some part of my life and how therapy really kind of got me through. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for a woman helping me kind of, kind of rear me in the right direction. Right. But therapy's work. It's like exercise. You know, I always joke that it's like going to the gym. Right. You can do a quick diet, right? But the gym, the results seem to speak a lot a lot louder. Yeah. And it's man. a different look when you put the work in. Hey brother. Right. To that point, you can get lipo 
or you can get out on that track and run. Yeah. You're going to appreciate it a lot more if you get on that track. Yeah, you're going to look a little different, too. Oh, yeah, versus getting that lipo, because that lipo, you're like, oh, I can still have this deep dish. That's right. It, it's, it's, it's all, it's a different kind of struggle that's required. It's, it's serious work. And I, listen, maybe the young brother had a therapist. I don't quite know. Yeah, I'm saying for my, sure. My black ass did. Yeah. And I tell everybody at some point, get in there, talk to somebody in our community that's been stigmatized. Like, we don't, look, we'll pray about it. Like, you can do that, too. Yeah, you can that's do that. Right. But on top of that, go talk to somebody objectively. Absolutely. Who's going to break your ass down. Like, Absolutely. God's got your back, clearly. And he's the reason you woke up. Yeah. But on this day-to-day struggle, on, on this walk, right? holler at somebody. He's also going to talk to you, too. Yeah. The Lord, I mean, whether you think he's male or female. Yeah. The, the divine entity is going to talk to you and say, you know yeah. what? In addition to this blessing I'm showering uh-huh. upon you, go see somebody, too. Yeah. Go holler at somebody. It's really important. Go holler at your folks, man. Yeah. That's my mom, so you can trust him even if you can't trace him. <laughs> okay. Bars, bro. That's what bar, she just bar. dropped an album. <laughs> Twenty rolls. So, 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 mm-hmm. so, last time we spoke, mm-hmm. we were, you know, prior to the runoff. Sure. And I know you have a list of very intricate things you want to talk about. So I want mm-hmm. you make. I want to make sure that you have that list available, so we don't we don't miss a beat. Right. But Karen Bass. Yeah, she got the she got the win. She got the win. She got the W. She got the dub. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting about her getting the W is that she got the W with uh, Caruso. Yeah. spending massive amounts. How about $100 million, something, maybe more. Yeah. So, so you know what that proves? Mm-hmm. Nothing is bigger than the people. Yeah. Not even money. No. If people are galvanized, yeah. they can defeat money. Listen, These are case studies right here, bro. Let me tell you what. What Prince say? Money don't matter tonight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> say word, bro. That's my album. Yeah. But yeah, but she got the victory uh, well-deserved considering, you know, a sister from L.A., who clearly taken the steps politically to get put herself in a position to win. Absolutely. And I think there's something to be said about, we talk about all the time about, you know, there should be a certain level of expertise in whatever field you're into. And if you're going to run for the highest office, right. it's state, city, national, have a track record of some semblance of, of, of hard work and success. To right. Because he deserved the shot. Absolutely. Rick Caruso has bread. God bless him. I'm sure he's probably on a boat right now sipping on something cool. Absolutely. Got to be, right? Absolutely. But Karen's got to clean up this homelessness problem, so her plate's full, right? Yes. And she's, I think she's well-equipped for it. It's not going to be easy. Mm-hmm. And I hope they give her a second term, because the first term, he's trying to clean up the, the last bit of shit you inherited, right? Right, like anything right, else. right. Hopefully, she'll get in there and get it done. But we're, you know, we're pulling for her, voted for the sister. God bless her. You now, know? Le- now yeah. let me ask you this. Mm-hmm. Let me throw a wrench in this. What if she was to appoint Caruso as housing czar hey, of the city. And and, mm-hmm. and and this is why this is important. I always said, like, if they could co-mayor, that'd be the ideal situation. Sure. Because there's something called white man's law. Yeah. You ever heard of white man's law? I am familiar. White man's like, this area is about to be gentrified. Right. And guess what happens? Gentrification. Gentrification happens. Quickly. Quickly. It happens. Yeah, it does. So what I'm saying is, like, Miss Bass has the ability and she's shown it mm-hmm. like i can galvanize the people mm-hmm. but the thing is there are other rooms that you need to be in to make things happen yep one thing i admire about republicans is that they don't care bro no we gonna get this done right now yeah and y'all can necessary. complain y- wh- whatever yeah. where i feel like dems sometimes they're just like oh we're just trying to appease sometimes you just gotta be like man flood water through sandbags we can we're gonna get mm-hmm. this popping you're not gonna be here on la brea and 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 and, and, and adams no in this tent, all yeah. this is gone. Listen, and, and, and that's actually, a, to be honest, a good idea. You might want to talk to her campaign, talk to Brother Kareem Webb. Yeah. Not better because the reality is, I think, much along the lines of what Obama did when he elected or, or hired, uh, or appointed, rather, Hillary Clinton to be a Secretary of State. Right. And, they, you know, he beat her in that really tough, yeah. bitter yeah. Um, nomination. Situation. But she humbled herself. She did, and he gave her a good post, and she did her thing in that in that role. Yeah. Listen, she may, maybe she'll reach out to Caruso. Like, man, you know, you clearly have some expertise. You're a bright cat. You're going to build an empire in the, in the Southlands. Yes. Come on in and help us, you know. Come on in because you know how to do it. You never built any for, for, for the, the unhoused. No. But now is your opportunity, and we're going to do this together. Listen, let me tell you something, man. Cats have to reach across the aisle, man, or across the table, or yeah. across the city. I think it's important. That's how we're going to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? I agree. Yeah, we grew up in L.A., Dina, diverse had yes. all kinds of friends. A lot of people that didn't look like me helped me out. Yes. And I never can lose sight of that. It doesn't mean I'm not proud of who I am and I'm going to be black all day long. But to really make things happen, 
Yeah. You got, especially politically. Right. You got to kind of open it up and make sure that, you know, the chess moves are made properly by reaching out to them cats that maybe don't look like you. They that, can like push your agenda down the line. That know how to do it. That's right. And I think, I, I think ultimately, like, the thing that I love about people who know how to galvanize mm -hmm. is that when you galvanize, you understand that if I bring you in and you succeed at your job, mm -hmm. it doesn't make me look bad. It makes me look incredible because I had the intuition to hire you. Sure, sure. So That's game. That's, game. That's management, <sighs> right? You put people in positions to be successful, no matter who those people are. You identify right. the talent. Like, I'm about to put you on board. Let's go on and get this win. Let's victory. go and get it. Let's get the victory. The V. The V. So, mm -hmm. my brother, there are, so, again, it's always so many things for us to discuss, right? A myriad. Yeah. A myriad of topics. <laughs> We're going to tic-tac-toe all throughout the country. Sure. We're going to start in Jackson, my brother. <laughs> Prime. Dion, brother. Coach Prime. Coach Prime. You ain't swack. <laughs> you ain't swack. swack. He not either anymore. Not, no, but you know what? The brother who said you ain't swag, mm -hmm. he said that because ultimately what Dion ended up doing, a lot of people felt that he was going to do. Yeah, that's what that's what he meant by that. Like yeah. you're not going to be here very long, nor should he. You I don't think, think so? Listen, America is about it's about enterprise. It's about opportunity. Okay. Dion, Dion went to Florida State, not Jackson State. Okay. This is this is Coach Prime. Okay, this ain't Denny Green. Rest in peace. Right. He's a different kind of personality, different kind of coach. And I think what he did was what he set out to do. Come in, put energy into the conference, put a lot on the program. One of my frat brothers, Marcellus. Shout out to Marcellus Mayberry. Called him Ray, Rain Man. Mm -hmm. Real brilliant kid. Mm -hmm. But make sure that at the end of the day, Jackson State has a profile. Brought a lot of resources in there. Yeah. Made some people some money. Right. Got some kids some good looks. Listen, I went to Gramlin. He ain't got to be Eddie Robb, man. Eddie Robb didn't died on the field. Mm -hmm. Okay, that cat was like 80 years old out there. Kind of I mean, coach. he has the most college victories ever, I believe, right? In Division One AA. He got passed by Paterno, who died, and somebody else passed. I don't know who it is now. Okay. But all I know is, you know, let Deion go on to Colorado and do his thing. You know, it's what it is. I don't know if anybody expected prime. This is prime time. I mean, like, it's, it, it's all. But the thing is, there was a hit he had back in the day, and you and I, you know, because we got, we, we got the sage wisdom. We, re we remember the song Must Be the Money. Must Be the Money. He was bro. texturizing the video. Bro, oh, bro Come on. do we really want to go back into the texturized conversation? No, we're going we're gonna to leave that episode too. Bro, <laughs> texturized. Conked. Conked, as I used to say back in the but, day. But, but this is my question. Do you think it was Hawaiian Silky or was it S Curl? I think it was, I think it was scrolled out. Scrolled out? I think it was scrolled out with the soft gels. <laughs> With the soft gels. <laughs> With the soft gels. Yeah. Oh, my God. But so you raise very important topics on enterprise yeah. and growth. Yeah. I think the brother who made that comp, that, that comp, uh, made the remark about you ain't swag, you know, it's just the only thing I saw was if he would have stayed, how many more resources would have been brought? Yeah. And, yeah, true. and 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 how it would have destabilized those big those those, those power ten schools yeah, yeah. who like you know live off the fe feast off of us. Yeah. And the thing about us is that, it, and we always have this conversation. Like everybody feasts on our vibration, but us. True. Look, can't argue but that. us historically. Historically, this is true. so. So when you, when we listen to Dr. Umar, who mm -hmm. was on the Breakfast mm -hmm. Club, I mean, like, he was raising some very valid topics. I mm -hmm. mean, like, I'm not opposed to anybody going to get their bread, but when I saw him on that 60 Minutes interview and he put the put the challenge out, yeah. or actually the reporter put the challenge out, like, if if the big schools come knocking, what are you going to do? And he was like, I have to entertain it. He was sure. pretty much letting you know what it was. But he also said that if a billionaire comes and says, let me put money on Prime, that would have been dope if that Billionaire would have came and Jackson State would have been that example because yeah. all of the HBCUs I felt would have benefited from that. Yeah. And we would have survived on our vibration. Sure. I think the challenge is, I mean, the, the money was just something you couldn't really look past. You know. But the thing is, they didn't have it when they gave him the contract. Well, they they found it though. Oh, you better believe they, they found, found it. Probably found it by now. Ticket sales. Oh, absolutely. Sales. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about half a million dollars as opposed to five million dollars? Yeah. Know, I'm no mathematician, but that seems like a little bit more money. Okay. Yeah. So at some point, you got to entertain that. And, and for prime time or Coach Prime, it's just that's how he moves. That's how he moves. 
Right. So we can't expect him to have the swag integrity if he's not from the swag. Right. You know, the brother that said that dad coached in the swag, he played in the swag, still coaches in the swag. So I think right. for him it's more loyalty. It's that lineage in the conference. Whereas with Prime, he's like, man, listen, I did my thing, won a couple championships. And I'm out. Going to Colorado, take my son with me, make sure he gets a greater look to go to the pros. Hmm. That's what it is. Wow. Deion's an opportunist, but he deserves it. He's a hell of a player. I'm hell not of mad a player. at him. Hell of a player. Hell of a player, the bro. The best, the best. Bro. Hey, man. You remember after they won that championship, how he cooled that man down who was talking greasy towards him? Come on, man. Calmed him down several times. Dumped several buckets on him. You know, I'm talking about Tim McCarr when he played for the Braves. Yeah. Bro. Yeah. yeah. That, but, but that dude was talking so greasy. If you don't believe me, like I always say, just YouTube That's it. That's YouTube it. Yeah. Dion he was talking crazy room. about Dion. Mm -hmm. And Dion had to calm him down. And he did. In a, yeah, he in did. a major way. So, you know, God bless Prime. I hope he does his thing. Hope he has success at Colorado. It's going to be tough. Tough job. Tough conference. Program isn't in the best shape it's been in. But he'll do his thing. God bless him. So... We can't let this brother skate. Which Brett one? Favre. Listen, that story's going. They, they they swept that way under the rug. I mean, bro, so, so far way under the, the rug. rug. To the point where even I don't think about it anymore. Uh, yeah. It was on my radar. Now I'm like, did he really do it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I didn't know about it. Sure you did. Mm-hmm. You're aware. You're aware. And, and listen. Yeah. listen. Hey, that, that's, that's the white boy justice. They, mm -hmm. they got to play their game. He's got political connections. He had the governor involved, a couple of the cats. I think there's still some charges that might be brought up against him. So I don't think the story's done, but it's just something that this should be it. It should be front, popping front page every news. single mm -hmm. day should because be. because if you think about it, that money could have been diverted to schools like a Jackson State. Well, it's you know like a high school. It's a, it's a poor state in the union. You're talking yeah. about Mississippi, where the educational system is incredibly poor. Right. Unemployment's as high as it's ever been. Right. Homelessness is out of control. These folks need those resources. So to take that money and you already have bread. And you already got super bread, though. That's what makes it a dirty game. You already have bread. You just want to use the bread you have. Yeah. It's whatever. He'll, you know, he'll, he'll get his at some point. Yeah. Like, it'll catch up to his ass at some point. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. But that being said, I, I wanted to jump to, um, because last time we spoke, there was a resounding, like, you know, like, claw that was coming down on Kyrie. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was on, you know, on all the talk shows, blah, 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 right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, once collectively everybody was like, this is too much. Yeah. It's too much. Yeah. Then, 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 then as, like, a pendulum swings back and forth, yeah. everything, it was just like, nope. Even LeBron said something. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it was very poignant to what he said. He's like, you know, you, didn't, you all didn't even ask me about Jerry. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't bring that up either. You know, um and you know, I, I'm not mad at LeBron saying it when he said it. Yes. There's I, I, there were a couple of journalists who were on Sports Talk Radio, you know, a couple of days later they were offended by it. This is LeBron doesn't really give us much juice anymore. He doesn't talk to us like he used to. Doesn't make himself available. Mm. Almost like they felt reprimanded. Hmm. But the reality is, it was They a, reprimand too. It was a legitimate question. Right? Like what's up with this Jerry photo though? You know? And what's up with Jerry Jones not really saying much sense and really denouncing that kind of, you know, that racism. He's Come not. On, he's not doing it. He ain't going to do that. 80 years old. He's comfortable. <laughs> Owner of the Cowboys. He's not changing. Yeah. He's not changing. Yeah. It's unfortunate, man. But it's what it is. Like, you know, with Kyrie, man, the end of the day, I said this last time we talked. I think with him, he just is incredibly pro-black. Pro and mm -hmm. if you're really pro-black, Sometimes it comes off as you're anti-other. That's the challenge. But you're not anti-other. He's not. He you can't, no. But he's just finding, no. he's just fun in a sense of self-discovery now and understanding who he is and understanding culturally where he comes from. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't expect our basketball players to have that kind of depth. We just want them to make a jumper. But if you have that depth, you know, we look at you a little differently. Right. We're put you in a position where he's not trying to be Ali. Nobody right. can be. Nobody can be. It's only, it's only going to be one. Only one. Right, but he has a right to speak his mind. But I will say this: you got to be really careful about how you talk about others and be just conscious of all that stuff. You yeah, know? yeah. Other groups of people have had the same level of atrocities. We can't ignore. Absolutely, you can't act like they didn't take place. Don't Absolutely. be that guy. Yeah, like yeah, the, shit the, did, it the did Earth happen, is flat right? and all that. Yeah, it did come happen. on, man. Come on. So there's sometimes yeah. you're on the wrong side of the issue. But I am not mad at him being pro-black. Shit, we all need to be a little bit more pro-black right now. Absolutely. So 
there, 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 there's always the cool down, the Kevin James. The Kevin slow jamming James. Slow jamming James, bro. That's right. That's I mean, right. super slow. Super slow. So you and I have these conversations about all of these different topics. And like what you're getting right now is just like the tip of the iceberg. Yep. But we had a conversation the other day that I really want us to, talk, to, to touch on again. And we were talking about the L.A. cuties. I can talk about Pasadena cuties, too. And Altadena cuties, wow. but let's just talk about wow, bro, the vibrancy wow. that is a currency of Los Angeles. Wow. The women, can you please just touch on? Just, I mean, just 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 a little bit. It's like if you're from here, or if you come here, yes, it's overwhelming. How so? Listen, we grew up in a different era. Where you had to, your verbals were critical, had to say a little something. Bro, super critical. Crucial. Yes. And you just identified every school had an enormous amount of just of fly ladies. Yes. It's really what made and you want to And abundance. That's why I wanted to go to class. It wasn't really about the academics. I'm glad I learned some <laughs> shit. <laughs> but I was like, I was in this hell of a swivel. Like, what's going peeping. on right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Peeping, peeping, yeah. Man, it, in every area, whether it's Dina, Long Beach, yeah. You know, South LA. Yeah. Carson had some bangers. Yeah. Everywhere, all over, all over. You go down, yeah. it was insane. Mid City. Mid City. Uh, bro, wherever. And, and the thing is, it wasn't just one type. No. The thing that the thing I think um is 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 truly unfortunate with a lot of the videos that came out in like the like the late nineties and two thousands. Mm-hmm. It was it was hyper focused on like the light skin, Asian, curly hair. Like sure. it, it was and 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 that is a beautiful segment of women as well. Indeed. But what I appreciated just about TV prior to videos, like mm-hmm. you had like you had uh, shows like oh man, what was the name of the show? Family Matters. Sure. Laura Winslow. Laura, Laura, I mean, and, and the thing right. is, Laura was like she she was a chocolate sister. Yeah. But like we saw her every week. Mm-hmm. So when you see something every week, like you 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 not only admire it but when you go to your community you see other women like that and you appreciate them it wasn't man. just like i just want this type of woman it was like you you saw a spectrum man. and that's what listen brother the fox hills mall okay people do documentaries on a lot of different places mm-hmm. i mean like crenshaw was incredible yeah but the fox hills mall brother yeah that was a revelation in black women it was like the social epicenter. Yes. Like in the late 80s, early 90s. Yes. You know how many cats worked in that mall, hung out in that mall? So many. Like celebrity. I remember Jamie Foxx worked at like GHQ. Wow. Yeah, man. Are cats, you serious? Yeah, bro. Cats were up in there. But you know what? Hold up. Just, it, just, just earmark your brilliance for a minute. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was young, there were so many of my friends, predominantly black. Yeah. We all had jobs. Mm-hmm. I worked at McDonald's for a minute. Sure. I bagged groceries. Yeah. Bro. You had a homie who worked at McDonald's. You had a homie who worked at the movie theater. Yeah. Had a homie who worked at Foot Locker. You had homies everywhere strategically. So if you was in the right clique, if you had a homie who worked at the Oak Tree, you was going to be fire. Fire. Then you had a homie who worked at Foot Locker, so your feet game was going to be fire. Cool. Don't let one of your partner's father be a barber. Oh, that's a trifecta. And don't let one of the homies work at the marina, at the, at the theater, because you're going to get hooked up on the flicks. Going to get a hook up on the flicks. So when you roll through... You roll through like a boss Car, in high school. Car blanche. Car blanche. In, in my, in my in 66 bug on Porsche Alloys <laughs> <laughs> with my Kenwood pull out. <laughs> I would, couldn't bro, tell me anything. Bro, we roll up. The homies would be like, man, here's a dollar fifteen. That's yeah. how much an orange uh, an orange drink. Not orange juice. Yeah. Orange drink yeah. cost at McDonald's. Yeah. They get Big Macs, fries. Incredible. Nuggets. That was the, But that was the game. Yeah. Like we... we Man, we used to map out how we used to get down <laughs> on the weekends, what we would do, where we would go. Outfits laid out. Bro. So excited about it. Polo Cologne sent us on the table. Not Polo Cologne. Come on, Polo Cologne before you had that Dracar that was real strong. What but, about Aquadigio? Come on, man. Soft scents. <laughs> I, might, I might mix in the oil, African oil a little. <laughs> African oil, remember that? Egyptian musk, Blue Nile mix. Smelling like a video. Like this cat, <laughs> this cat's just smelling really erotic right now. <laughs> oh, my God. That was it. But but but, but that, I I I don't want to stray too far. I want us to stick with the LA cuties though. Nothing better. And I'm sure New York probably had their segment of Shy Town. But something about the LA ladies was just something special, you know. 
there's something special. The energy. Yes. The West Coast, we're biased because we're from here, but I think it's just the best place to be. Right. You know, just how we flowed, how we interacted, the diversity. Uh, it was unlike anything we'd ever seen. You know, right. you had your, your chocolate cuties, the the, the, the sexy Tarkskin sisters. You had the Creole girls. You had the, yes. the Latina mixes, the, the Filipino, yes. black, all kinds. And we're all going to school at the same time. All going to school. So my game was real. I was like, you got to spit. You might play a little ball or be in a band, but your verbal game still had to be on point. Yeah. Because you were going up against heavy hitters. Dope dealers was pulling up in the Suzuki's. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are like 25. I'm like, uh, he don't go here. <laughs> He's not a student. <laughs> but he would be there R. Kelly style. This cat's got a beard. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and the girls are like, this is so-and-so. He's saying Ball or Lou, whatever his name was, right? She had to go against them. I used to watch sitcoms. Like, let me get some game from, from Theo. Let me get some Alex P. Geaton game. Some oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fox. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Let me just mesh this shit together and try to create my own little spit. Yes. And that's what you had to do to kind of, you know, set yourself apart. Yeah. But L.A. had them. They still have them. I mean, we're, we're grown men now. We, we, we're out of the game, but... It's cool to see that energy. It's funny is I still see some of the people I went to high school with. I saw them the other day at a little function. Mm -hmm. People, you know, people are aging gracefully. Black folks always you take care of yourself. You're going to look pretty cool. You're going to be all right. Hell, if you don't, you still might look okay. On the outside. We're blessed with the in internally the engine's in trouble. Yeah. Transmission, these changes. Outside, hey, bro. Earl Scheib. <laughs> <laughs> not Earl Bro, we're not going to talk about those L.A. commercials. JJ, the king of beepers. King of beepers. Earl, Sh bro. Earl, Sh Mr. 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 Pib, you need no teeth to eat my beef? <laughs> <laughs> All the locality right. joints. Those are the days. So I feel like a lot of times when we do these, like it, it's, it's me like kind of like setting the tone with the questions. But I know mm -hmm. that you had some, some, some things that you wanted mm -hmm. us to discuss. Yeah. What, like, what are those things? Well, it's ironic that you mentioned the LA cuties because I'll transition into Megan Markle. Right? Wow. An LA chick, that, wow. or a lady rather, this this from here, went to Macklet Heart. Uh, grew up, I think, in Lamert, View Park area. Yeah, View Park. Her mom still lives over there. So yeah. I, I watched a documentary uh, the other night, uh, Gabby Gucci and myself. Yeah. And we were checking it out. And I just, you know, I knew her story, but I'll, I'll give it up. She she went through a lot of hell out there in, in, in Europe. Think you so? I mean? Royal hell, pun well, intended. So, so, yeah. so, so the thing is, I never saw it. So, mm -hmm. like, good. For, so, like, what specifically, because, like, not to say that I'm indifferent, but, like, I never looked at her and said she was dating brothers. Oh, no, that's definitely not never. her. That's not her flavor. Right. I think she definitely likes a certain kind of guy, clearly. Um, and it's fine to have your own flavor. Yeah. But, like, I didn't, I, I don't yeah. look at her and say, oh, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah. She. No, she's not. We would have never had a shot. Yeah. Right. It's just not happening. Yeah. But what I will say is. It was interesting that she's mentioned something about she didn't realize color was an issue until she got there, right? That's a that's a that's a healthy, um, convenient ambiguity that a lot of these LA cuties we're talking about. Can LA cuties, bro, for a long time, skating but, under the radar. But at some point, your black ass will get recognized as being black. You are going to. Mm -hmm. We've spoken about this, yeah, in previous. I mean, like, yeah, there will come a time. There'll come a time. No matter how fair skin, mm -mm, doesn't matter. No matter how educated, how proper your diction, yeah, you will be shown by this structure, yeah, who you are, sure, in short order, <laughs> in short order. And I think she felt it firsthand. Oh yeah, she, like, bro, whoa. she, she felt it from the originators of it. Mm -hmm. How about that? Like you have no idea, girl. We've been doing this. We've been doing this for the a caste long time. system. That's light work. It's We've nothing. been doing that. And and it was ill as she was. Properly groomed to prepare for this and wasn't ready. Yeah. Wasn't ready. Yeah. Just having well, all kind of thoughts. Well, the thing that was interesting, like, I haven't seen the documentary, mm -hmm. but I am old enough and seasoned enough to remember Princess Di. Sure. And how when Princess Di came on the scene, she had just such a, like, just like, uh, like, just a, such a quiet calm. Mm hmm that just resonated with so many people is she felt like she was someone who was approachable. Yeah. She felt like, and that's why I think a lot of people liked her. And like, she was like, a, like outside of being just a beautiful woman, she just seemed like she was really about the people. Definitely was. And like, not to say that Megan was that, but like, when you think about, uh, uh, what's the, uh, what's Megan's husband's brother's name? The guy who's going to be King. Prince William. Prince William. Mm -hmm. So when Prince William married his wife, mm -hmm. like she was the rave. Sure. She was the rave. Until Megan got to town. Until Megan pulled up on you, though. Yeah. With that View Park. With that View Park energy. Like, right. listen here. 
And that West Side glow, like, what's going on? Let me give you this. And, 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 and there's always, I always speak in parables. There was an award show where Lauren Hill was cleaning up. Okay. This was like in 99 after that. I mean, bro, she was cleaning up. Yeah, Miss Education of Lauren Hill. Won all the Grammys. And, and, and if I'm not mistaken, it was either the American Music Awards or the MTV Awards. Mm-hmm. But it was an award show that Madonna had like dominated. Okay. Keep in mind, she dominated. So she had other either you know MTV Awards or Grammy or American Music Awards yeah, at yeah. the house. Yeah. But the fact that this sister was getting this light, mm-hmm. they put the camera on Madonna and Madonna was just sitting there sulking like a little brat. Salty. She was so salty. Yeah. She ended up winning that night. But like, I give you that example because I felt like that's how Prince William's wife was. Oh, no, no like doubt. She, like, like she had been getting the praise. No doubt. You wake up on home base. No doubt. With the ball in center field. Come on now. But this sister's getting this light. You like, I don't care. I want all the light. And you got to keep in mind, I mean, you know, there are a lot of black folks in London. You know oh, yeah. I mean? Oh, absolutely. A lot of black Brits. Yeah. And people of color that live there. Yeah. You know, it's a diverse town. So you got a, a sister that's coming in, bringing that energy, that look. Yeah. Really working with the people. Like, the doc was dope because she was really, I didn't know how involved she, because it's a job to be a part of the parliament. Like, you have to oh, really absolutely. be part of the royal family. Like, it's yeah. there's duties that are required, appearances to make, and she was making them all. And fly, making them fly though, fly it out, and making them when people were talking all kind of shit about her too. Right, and still showing up as black folks have to, still got to show up like having two full time jobs being black. Mm-hmm. That's how it is. So she's yeah. doing her thing, catching hell in the press to the point where she's like, "I'm going back to the house." And Harry's in Santa Barbara now. Like you know, he's missing the house. But I, guess what? Montecito's not a bad look. Montecito's not a bad look when you think about those sweeping ocean views. Come on now, they out there playing polo. They're not exactly struggling. You know what I'm saying? Okay, laid up. Chilling yeah. next to that cool one. Yeah, they're not in an apartment on Adams. Okay, <laughs> they're cool. <laughs> they're straight. Okay, come on. Eating all kind of fresh fish, pastries. Oh yes, yeah. Come on, stop. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I think, I think that they will be fine. Um, I need to check that 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 documentary out. Check but it out. There, 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 there are a couple of documentaries that I've been watching because you know it's the holidays. Mm-hmm. So like you're at home. There's one about Willie Mays. Say hey. Say hey. Say hey, kid. If you all haven't seen that, just check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I yeah. didn't realize that that brother was still alive. Yeah, he was 91. Like, yeah. He's 91. Yeah. And quietly, as a baseball player I was, he was the best. He better than Jackie? Best. Yeah. Better than Jackie. Better than Jackie. Jackie Ooh. was incredible. Better than Ken Griffey? Oh, yeah. Wow. See, Jackie broke the color barrier. So, you know, he's always going to have reverence because he went through a lot of crap to kind of open up the doors for everybody hey, else. from the house. Yeah. But in terms of overall skill... Willie was cold. Yeah. Like defense, offense, power, arm. Like he was sick. Right. And every, like that's Barry Bonds, his godfather. Like everyone knows yeah. that Willie Mays was that dude. Yeah. That he was that dude. Yeah. So the fact that, you know, San Francisco is relatively liberal. It, it, it is now. Hmm. And I thought it was then. But yeah. clearly when he broke through, they were still catching hell up there. It wouldn't let him get that house or try not to let him get the career. Listen, bro. Listen. <laughs> The thing is, when you look at some people in this generation, mm-hmm. it may be some cause for concern yeah. for them to be in the neighborhood. Sure. And it's not just Anglo people that feel this way. Black people feel that way, too. Indeed. But, like, we had a conversation, and I was talking about um, Nat King Cole mm-hmm. and what he endured in Hancock Park. Mm-hmm. Same situation. I mean, like, same blueprint situation in San Francisco. Same thing. Same thing. Here this guy is. He came. True, it was Joe DiMaggio's town. That's fine. Yeah, true. But everybody has the right to live in peace, the pursuit of happiness yeah. and life living. Everybody has the right to that. So the fact that you can sit in your house and say, no, this dude can't, just because of the skin of his color, it's like, how dare you? How dare you? Listen, that's what they were doing, and that's what they are still doing in some areas. Yeah. Redlining. We've talked about it before. you know. But it's amazing where... You know, LeBron, there was something in Brentwood. Somebody wrote something on his... Yeah. And this is LeBron. Yeah. I mean, there are guys... Listen, we're all human beings. But if you've accomplished what these cats have accomplished, you need to go in and let them make it. Mm-hmm. But, the, but, but the, thing, the thing that was so interesting, what he said was, he said, I'm not doing this for the next Willie Mays because mm-hmm. we're going to be all right. Because mm-hmm. he ultimately got the house, even though somebody threw a rock through his window. Sure. Threw a rock and hit their hands. He said, I'm doing this for the next black person the next person of color yep 
which I thought was amazing because he had gotten a lot of flack for not being like on the front lines with like, you know, Martin Luther King and da da da. He was just like, that's not, that's, that's not, not his, my battle. That's not his calling. And, and, and it's my battle to fight, but I'm going to fight it my way. That's yeah. what I thought was interesting about the, about the documentary. Yeah, not everybody's born to be an activist, man. Yeah. You know, I'd argue that some people need to shut up. Okay? Word. Facts. Say word, brother. Some cats need to get off the front lines, get in the back of the line. <laughs> okay? Matter of fact, get out of line. Right. Right. But there are people that, you know, speak in different kind of ways through sport, through music, mm-hmm. um, through fashion. Right. There's ways in which you can tell your story or support the cause without maybe being as verbal. Mm-hmm. And we had this conversation before. I think there should be certain people appointed to be the voice of our folks. You know, right. have a certain kind of education. You have, Sorry. You got to be educated, bro. Sorry. You have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Just like you kind of need to be tall to be a really great ball player. Yeah. It's kind of required. Yeah. I mean, there's some there's some you know, outliers. Yeah. But the reality is that's kind of part of the game. Mm. You should have a certain level of intellect, study, um, experience to, to be the voice of the revolution. You know, it's interesting. Uh, I believe, well, Toni Morrison has a documentary. Mm-hmm. And I'm a big fan of documentaries. Yeah, I'm with too. school. I went to school to be a teacher. That's ultimately what I wanted to be like sure. in like high school, blah, blah, blah. It, I, it took a different road. But I'm always watching documentaries. My father used to watch documentaries, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I love them. There's one on Toni Morrison where I believe she's talking to Charlie Rose. I okay. believe. Yeah. But if you watch the documentary, you'll see it. Mm-hmm. She says, racism is a sickness. Yeah. You are literally sick. If you see me and hate me for the color of my skin, I was like, man, this woman is dropping bars. Isn't that crazy? Because, I mean, because it's so elementary, but it's so real. Like, yeah, yeah. you are sick. You're sick. Just You're like, sick. you know, and, and, and we talked about Baldwin. Like, he has a song, uh, this, this documentary, like, I'm Not Your Negro. Mm-hmm. And at the end of it, he talks about what the essence of the word nigger means. He said, if you come and watch somebody who's in a cage, you're the nigger, not him. Right. For... Conditioning your mind to feel like this is okay to do. Right. I was like, wow. It's frightening. It's frightening. You learn early. Diabolical. You learn early. Yeah. Seeds are planted really early. Mm-hmm. It's wild, man. I talk to my mom sometimes who's 80 or 81 now and grew up in, in the South during the Civil Rights Movement. And, you know, she's seen a lot, mm-hmm. clearly. Yeah. And for her, to, there's a level of disappointment in which she has based upon, you know, where we are now. Like, God, right. we, we made a lot of strides forward, but we're taking a few steps back. Right. You know, and it's unfortunate because, you know, politically, you know, there's a certain kind of element that has come out of the woodworks the last couple of years. Always right. kind of been there, but now they have a voice with these technology and these platforms. Right. To speak, spew this kind of anger that obviously bleeds into the consciousness of the young people. Correct. Um, the old folks going to die off. You know, it's just a matter of time. But they're planting enough of that, those negative seeds, like planting in, like in a garden, you know, and, mm-hmm. and they're getting watered in a way that's really frightening. And they're spewing up again. It's just terrible, man. Yeah. I saw this, uh, you know, we, we, I'll talk about this last documentary and then we'll move on. Mm-hmm. But uh, Branson. Richard Branson? Yeah. Yeah, he's and, and, and he talks about when he, you know, was looking to really lift Virgin from where it was, mm-hmm. how British Airways did all that they could to strategically malfunction his business. Wow. And I didn't know what that meant, but the further you watch, they were saying they would plant stories in the news about you know something being unsafe hmm. like just i mean just 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 yeah. sprinkling that hint of yeah. doubt yeah how about that you know what i'm saying and I, I i just found it interesting because he i mean he ultimately like you know recovered and like he's just like you know one of the richest men ever oh, man, he's cool you know what i'm saying but like it, 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 like that game of war with those big boys who feel entitled yeah, it's dirty to game. everything it's, it's super dirty, dirty bro it's a dirty game super dirty so there was a uh, a recent shakeup at Gucci. Okay. The 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 guy who was running, gentleman by the name of Alessandro, mm-hmm. um, you know, finally had his you know his his day in the sun. Uh, I was reading this article in Business of Fashion, and they were talking about as well as the brand had been doing, it kind of got to a point where it was starting to look um, costume. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? And like the 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 the, the key indicator for the heat being lost was like the Asian market was just like we're cool we're cool yeah and so you know i don't know what they're going to do now but it would be dope if if the replacement could be a person of color that'd be awesome that'd be crazy well long overdue i mean it it, would be dope if it was me hey he's available holler (laughs) say word i'll negotiate 
<laughs> yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Trust. But it, it 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 leads me to since we're talking about Asians a little bit, even though we're talking about Alessandra, I watched um Thirty Eight in the Garden. Mm, I'm not hip. Jeremy oh, Lin. Jim, the, oh, Linsanity. Sure. Bro. Yeah, man. That was such a great documentary. Yeah. Shout had, out to Samir. Yeah, he had a hell of a run. Hernandez. He had yeah. a great run for about it was like it was like two through two weeks. It felt like it felt like the whole year, but it was like a couple of weeks where he was on fire. Bro, he played nine years in the league though. Yeah, man. He listen, let me tell you something. He was nice. There's something to be you just don't get to the league and ball like that, even if it's for a short moment, unless you got some serious game. That cat was balling at Harvard. Yeah. He's from the Bay Area. I think yeah. they won state championship. And for an Asian dude to get to the NBA Palo and ball Alto. like that, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. His game was solid. Yeah. His game was solid. It's tough because the league is so filled with such talented guys that the guys that maybe don't end up being all stars, we tend to think they can't ball. Those guys are everyone in the league was all something. State, all American. Exactly. All league, all conference, everybody. Everybody. Even the cat on the bench waving the towel. He was all state too. Right. Everybody at game. Right. The right. certain cats take this to higher levels. Certain cats are blessed from above and then they have that work ethic. This is this Kobe stuff. Right. Um, Although I did see something interesting, one of the cats, the GM of um, uh, the the Warriors, a guy named Bob Myers, mm-hmm. and he was on um, the All the Smoke podcast, which I love, and he said, "Yeah, they're talking about the mama mentality." He said, "Stop talking about that." Yes, only Kobe had it. Yes, let's stop saying mama mentality. It only applies to that guy. Yeah, he was correct. A, he was different. Correct. So let, let's go on and put that to bed. With, as he rest, let him rest in peace and let that whole saying rest in peace with him. Yes, and anybody else got it, but Kobe being correct. The fact. Rest in peace. Yeah, but Lin Santa, that was that was cool. I got to check that doc out. Lin, yeah, he, he did his thing. Yeah, I, I, speak, speak, speaking of uh, Kobe, I went to um, Club Renaissance on um, Friday. Is it Friday? Friday night. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it was it was either Friday or Saturday. Mm-hmm. It been Saturday, and um, I, I was I was looking at this woman because she was just having such a great time. She had such a beautiful smile, and I thought it was actually my buddy's wife. Mm. So I went to go and you know give her a hug, and when the closer I got to her, I realized it was Kobe's daughter. Natalia. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And she was just like, she was just in there and it was just great to see her there one, but yeah. two, to see her smiling. Yeah. She just, seems like she's doing great. Yeah. Yeah. He left a hell of a legacy, man. Cope was special. Mm-hmm. Never met him personally, but went to dozens of games. Yeah. Great dude. The fact that we're approaching the three year anniversary of his death is crazy to me. Yeah. Because it doesn't seem like it's, first of all, it doesn't seem like it's even real still. Right. But definitely don't feel like three years. Right. Um, right. But yeah, he was a special dude. He was a special dude. And his family seems to be hanging in there. They're doing well. Mm-hmm. What's the next topic that you have in mind, my brother? Man, listen, there's so many things, man. It's it's wild. You know, we, we talked about Karen Bass. Mm-hmm. I talked about Megan and Harry. Yes. Talked about Twitch. Rest in peace. Yes. The dance with homie. Um, well, the holidays are here. I like to talk about fam. Like there's a lot, of, a lot of stuff going on and moves to be made. And for us, you know, people just don't know. Like it's about the preparation for the new year. Like what do you have in store? Right. You know what's what's on the agenda for what we're gonna do without disclosing too much because you know I'm, I don't like to do that. Right. But I think it's important that we all kind of reset and take into account what happened this year. People that right. we lost. You know, <laughs> I read a post this morning. So funny. He's like, cast. Somebody said something like an eleven kid. In 11 days, Castle will know they ain't going to be in my life anymore. Wow. At the end of the wow. year, it's a wrap. <sighs> and there's some people that might not make the cut in 2023. Yeah. It's what it is. So it is a time of reflection. It really mm-hmm. is a time of reflection. I think about that a lot. There's so many topics in, in the news to be discussed. But, you know, I always want to just focus on, you know, what we have in store. Like, what's next on the horizon for us? Mm-hmm. Without going to some details, like... You always ask people when you do these interviews, like, how is your, how do you feel? Like, how is your mental state? Yeah. Right? Mine is cool. You know, it's been a year of uh, of trials and tribulations, but there's been some real cool love in there, too. You know, and I know we've been going back and forth the last several years, but we're on the verge of some cool things, too. Greatness is in store. For yeah. Sure. And yeah. that's an exciting time, man. Yeah. But, um. But I'm just hella thankful, bro. I'm hella thankful for what we have. It's it's really a cool time. Happy to be in the city, the city of dope. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> the city of dope. People, literally and figuratively. Literally and figuratively. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I've been wa- I've been watching some documentaries myself and I kind of, I find myself on YouTube. I'm I'm a YouTube fiend. Right. I don't even watch anything else of YouTube and Netflix occasionally and I catch CNN for some news. 
But, you know, the hood ward stories, I catch myself watching hood stuff because, you know, that's kind of the background. Mm -hmm. And I'm always fascinated by the hood stories. But just the the L.A. element and the L.A. vibe is almost stronger than it's ever been. And it's kind of exciting to to see that energy back. Absolutely. You know. People are outside, bro. People are outside. I was watching the World Cup the other day. Argentina got it done. Oh, my God, bro. I don't even watch soccer like that, bro. Me neither. I was shocked by how many brothers were on France. It was just like, you know. And then Pabe, that one, he was killing. He's the next guy. He scored like three goals. But I know the uh, the World Cup's going to be in L.A. in 2026 at mm-hmm. SoFi. Yeah. And I saw that energy. I was like, man. This- energy was electric. I read somewhere it said, you know, the Super Bowl was like 200 million viewers and the World Cup was like 1 billion. Are you serious? Tuned in on Sunday. I was in a gym working out. Cass was watching on, on, the, on the treadmill. I'm like, they're watching this thing for real. Wow. Like, it's a different kind of sport. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Incredible, man. Incredible. Wow. So, well, yeah. you, 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 I, I, I definitely want to delve more into that to, 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 to the soccer, but yeah. I wanted to talk about getting out of your comfort zone to mm-hmm. grow. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, right? And right, expecting a different, yep. That's expecting right. Expecting a different outcome. Um, you know, when I was watching the Branson documentary, you know, they were talking about how his parents would always instill in him if they were ever nervous. If you're nervous, that's you being selfish. Mm. Wow. I never thought about it like that. Wow. Because the reward is just on the other. Like, if you think about anything that you've ever been nervous to do. Yeah. When you actually muster up the courage to actually do it, one of two things can happen. You'll either succeed or you'll fail. Yeah. But when you succeed, I'll bring a very neighborhood. That fly cool one. That's right. That you be seeing on the bus stop. Yeah. And you really want to holler at her. Yeah. You have no idea. She been wanting you to holler at her. She might think you're cute. She been wanting you to holler, bro. She might think you're cute. But you're like, nah, man, she got the, man, she got the, the fly starter on. Dope felas. I don't have a shot. And you holler at her and she's totally welcoming. Yeah. That's you getting out of your way, getting out of your comfort zone. And then once you, once you speak to her and she replies back, like a queen should, the, the the feeling you feel is instant, like, oh, my God. And you ever notice, this takes you back to my theory, man. What's the theory, brother? I, and I might get some pushback, but it's the story of my life. It is what it is. I always feel like the dimes, like the, the most beautiful women are typically. They don't ever get hollered at. That's what, they never get hollered at. They never at. get hollered at. So they're open to the game, but people are intimidated by hollering. But you got to also speak with some sense, too, now. No, you got to come with your game tight. Yes. But you could holler and be victorious. Meanwhile, <laughs> the fives and sixes, everybody's hollering in. Everybody's hollering at so them. So you can't tell them anything. Like, you just basic. But they're so confident because everyone's hollering because everybody feels like they got a shot. Right. Holly Berry can't keep a cool guy. Right. right? You got a cool guy, Van Hunt, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, 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 the dimes, they're, they're waiting for somebody to spit. Like he said, some sensible game. Have sensible. They, have their tools together. You might be on the show. You might get the gold medal. Bro. Been a victory stand. Absolutely. With your fist up like 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 John Carlos? That's right. Mexico? <laughs> John Carlos. <that's, laughs> come on, man. John and Tommy Smith. God bless those. But they did 68, they got it done. Absolutely. So what would you say is like your like how would you get out of your comfort zone this year? And then I, I, mm-hmm. I after you give your answer, I'll give mine. You know, that's a great that's a great question. Some especially somebody like me that's overly analytical. Mm-hmm. Virgo, true and true. That's, that's got me in trouble. Sometimes I think too much. Yeah. And oftentimes, you Word. Have, come on, man. I'd be, I'd, Word. Be, I'd be in my own head. Yeah. Oftentimes, you just have to be a little bit more, um, let it flow organically. Um, and that's, you know, God works in that way. He wants you to kind of, he's kind of set the board up for you. Mm. You know, you can't really plan things too far ahead because he's going to laugh at you. Right. So what you really have to do is just kind of go with the flow and let, let life kind of take its course. That's what makes the ocean so beautiful. Like, you never know how it's going to flow. Wow. Right? Wow. Beautiful. So for me, it's just... You know, let my mind be free, you know, recognizing the beauty that's here because we're all born with an expiration date. Right. Okay. Right. We all got an appointment we can't avoid. Correct. And if you kind of know that, and we already know that going forward, you might as well enjoy it. I'm a 51. Let me enjoy the second half of this. this, this. And if, if it's if it's halftime, we ain't winning. Right. The fans are getting antsy. Right. They pay a lot of money for the seats. Like, New York and L.A. fans. You down a dub. And the yeah. offense is stagnant. Yeah. Portland is whooping your behind, Kobe and Shaq. Timeout. Get it together. Come on. We got to make a run. 
Yeah. And that's how I feel. So right now, <laughs> so Shaw, Fox, somebody come from the bench. Hit a few. Exactly. Ooh, Corey. Corey. Okay, Devin George, somebody get it done. Yes. Yeah. Right? So right now, my attitude is let some things flow. Right. Let your mind be free. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> get down to the sound. Sounds like I, was, I, was, I was just about to say right? that. You know what I'm saying? I was just... Come on, man. Strictly business. Great if album. Quite, hey, movie. listen. If you tired, go take a then nap. go take a nap. Right. Let it flow just like that. Yeah. We do that. I do that. Can't be stopped. Absolutely. What well, about you? Um, well, you had, you know, alluded to some of the great things that we have been uh, harvesting. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, we're not harvesting. We've been cultivating sure. for the harvest. And, like, you know, I'm really excited about a lot of them. You know, there are a lot of, um, there are a lot of brands that we've spoken with mm-hmm. that have been, like, you know, just Johnny on the spot. And, yep. You know, have just disappeared. And then there have been, you know, yeah. I mean, just, like, incredible multinational organizations who have come ashore and they're like, we're here to give you this bag. But not mm-hmm. only just give you the bag, we're here to give you this bag because you have earned it. Yeah. You put the time in. Yeah. The time in. The time in. I like that look over. You know what I'm saying? Like you know it's saying? like 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 people say blood, sweat and tears. I say bone marrow, sweat and tears. That's right. That's right. You definitely put the work in. Yeah. It's almost like that. Uh, it's like that Morgan Freeman Election Company vibe, right? Mm, yes. That's when he got his. That's when he got put on. Yeah, and he was probably like forty something years old when that came out, but he wasn't a young star. He got a success a little later, and I'd argue that it's like anything else. You give me a bag at twenty five, that bag would have been gone. Yeah. And odds are, wouldn't have went in the right place. Yeah. Quietly, it would have tricked that paper off immediately. But you get that bread when you Morgan's age. What do you do with it? It's it's gonna last. It's gonna go the distance with you. Absolutely. We'll talk about reparations in a minute. Oh my goodness. Okay, because that might go in the wrong way too. <sighs> but but to your point, you've earned it. Yeah, you've earned it. You know what I'm saying? And I think at this stage in the game, you deserve to get what you've always wanted. Yeah. And I always tell people when I'm talking about you, I'm like this cat. You know, he's he's I had the conversation with with Janae yesterday. A great conversation about how the Zoom went, and we won't go deep into the weeds about it. People will find out, but just like, man, this cat has earned his spot Mm -hmm. and it's time for him to get his bag. Absolutely. God bless the contemporaries. We want them to come on the platform and spit their wisdom. Absolutely. Everybody deserves their shot. You know, I cheer for everybody to win. I don't want anybody to lose, to be honest with you. Correct. Everybody won, we be, you know. Because it's it's enough out there for everybody. Come on, Raspberry Beret shit, we all win. Right, right. But at the end of the day, my guy deserves a shot. Mm -hmm. That's how I think about it, man. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So it just, just just in reference to, you know, getting out of my own way, like it was it was incumbent upon me to like whatever I think about doing, I, I'm like, I'm just going to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, naturally, it's going it's, it's, it's to be reasonable what sure. I'm doing. Sure. But I'm, you know, just all of the things that we have cultivated. I'm just extremely excited for yeah. the year ahead. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I guess, you know, people who are watching this are like, wow, let us know something. But. Some things you can't, like, you, you don't talk about it. You just see it. You know, I learned years ago. I used to talk, talk, talk to, get, get excited and let people know what's going on. And they didn't manifest. Don't like looking stupid. Let's yeah. let some things. Listen, Isley Jasper Isley, that harvest for the world. Yeah. Okay, that part Ooh, right that's there. A, that's a jam, too. On the Caravan of Love album? <sighs> Solid. Caravan Solid. of Love was a cold jam. And a cool video, too. But you know what? Again, again. And then we can talk about this reparations, but I got to go back to the to 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 the cuties for a minute, because <laughs> you like going back. Well, right. well, well, I mean, what 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 the thing is? What was interesting about the cuties is also the music that was attached to the cuties, Bro. and like and, and 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 so there are people that listen to this that remember SOS. Tell me <sighs> that remember climax. Um, I want to win, girl. Come what, on. I want to know what's on your mind. Yeah, I mean, bro. Curious. I mean, like these are like pivotal. Jim, mm-hmm. you, you can't stop the rain. Loose ends. I mean, like, Great. like you're on the bus. Yeah. With a Walkman. Yeah, Walkman. And a tape. That's it. And that tape is bumping that song. Yeah. And you just happen to see that cutie with the basket, the basket weave. Mm-hmm. Don't let her have that Lola, that bounce. Come on, man. And I sit right behind her. She got that members only on. You saying something? You got to. You or, got to. Or that starter jacket. You got to say something. You got to say something. You know, I would encourage everybody young, young and old. Yes. If you, if, if, if they tell kids, you see something, say something. Right. 
<laughs> okay. Right. Say word. It's, it has two meanings. If you see something, say something. Yeah. Right. Holler. Yeah. Holler. You know, because you never really know. Mm-hmm. I never was a shy dude. I always felt like I could at least spit my game. Either I'm a winner or I'm not. Like you made a good point earlier. Uh, other side of that door might be your victory. Right. But you got to kind of knock and see what, what it's all about. You got to knock and see. You never know. Yeah. Jermaine Dupree knocked and saw with Janet. Did he? Like, I always felt like, j- j- just to give people an example of knocking and seeing, like, Did he? I don't think people saw that. He knocked. He put the ring button. He waited outside. But he time. saw it, though. That's right. He, he had vision. So, we got five minutes left. Uh-huh. Reparations. Well. What are your thoughts on that? It's a delicate conversation. Why is it delicate? You realize that Boldy was burnt down? Uh, listen. That Black Wall Street was burnt down? N- That's, it, it's, it's nothing delicate about that situation. Because if those situations mm-hmm. would have been allowed to survive, there would be a lot less of us in the, predicament that, that, the, the predicaments that we find ourselves in. Well, the, the issue of reparations, clearly they're deserved. The concern is what happens when received. Ah. Okay. Yes. Now listen. Everybody's going to do what they do differently with their bread should that magical day come. Yeah, man. First of all, it's going to be heavily taxed, right, like everything else. Absolutely. So if you deserve two you you're not getting that. Okay, it's not happening. We're going to cut that right down the middle. Right. Okay. Right. At that point, what do you do? If we're smart, we invest. We get property. We do you things. get property. You get property. You do things that you're supposed to do. What you don't do is what we saw happen a few years ago when Cash was getting them loans after COVID. Oh, up at Gucci and Bottega and... Which has led to a lot of these ski mask robberies because Cash was making money they never made before. Now they want right. that bread back because they blew it on the whip and jewelry. Right. Right. You feel me? Yeah, So the I concern feel you. is, listen, I might ruffle some feathers, but this shit ain't the first time. Right. End of the day, should we happen to be blessed with reparations? And I'm not holding my breath. Okay. Hmm. I don't think it's gonna happen, and I'm an wow. optimist. Wow. I think ultimately they'll find some loophole and be like, "These cats are cool." Or we'll find a small percentage to get a little bit of bread, and you just like disseminate, trickle down, Reaganomics, right? Right. But the reality is, if we are blessed to get some kind of like uh, payback, you got to be smart with it. You got to be smart. Well, I mean, the thing is, it. I think I, I, it, it it goes back to the person who works out to lose weight versus the person who just gets lipo. Right. If you earned your money. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like, I think it's fair to say that black people have earned their keep. There's, there's no nobody, question. there's nobody that there's, there, no there, there, there's no group of people that's more American than African Americans. Couldn't agree more. Did the work. Laid these roads. No one. Laid these roads. Laid these roads. L- 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 literally. Work. Mm-hmm. Asian Americans laid roads too. The Chinese, they, they, they. Sure, the immigrants came in a yeah. work car too. Yeah, but the thing is, like, there's no one who came and has actually been resilient, had been tar and feathered, but still found themselves in regiments in the armed forces. Yeah. And we're still, yeah. still hated against. Nobody worked as hard and received less. Yeah. And it doesn't mean the cultures didn't work hard. But I'd argue that they, they worked hard and they got blessed for their efforts. We, got, we worked hard and got ignored for hours. And I think that's the challenge. And this is what, so when we do get a bag, it's hard not to want to. You know, to just glow up. To glow up. To let, me get, go get, let me go get that mink. Immediately. I need that I need that day date right now on my wrist. I need that. Like, yeah. no, you don't, bro. No, you don't. Not really. But you wanted to shine. You see, remember music videos cast in the background? Everybody's kind of like, look yeah. at me and shit. Right. Ain't even a song. Right. But it's like, I want right. you to see that I'm in here with, you, with, with my man. Right. That's how we kind of operate. So I, I, I pray that should that happen, we do the right thing. You know. Yeah. But again. That's wishful thinking. You know, we're talking about it. We've had these conversations for probably, probably 100 years that we're going to get something, at least you since know, Jim you, Crow. You know, I, yeah. I, I, I want to say this in closing, mm-hmm. that there's always somebody of color mm-hmm. wherever there's a lot, a, a mass fortune to be made. Yeah. Always. Yeah. So there is a, uh, a, a show on Hulu about Chippendales. One of the main guys who was like, you know, like he was one of the most popular was this black guy. Okay. Now the guy who owned Chippendale is a guy named Steve Banerjee. Okay. Asian guy. Yeah. Brown. But very few people knew outside of like the main crew that was working that a Asian guy owned it because it was all white. Sure. There was a calendar he put together 
And in the calendar, it was all white guys. Okay. And the brother, who's, again, one of the most popular, because he's the only one. Only brother. Because you know there can only be one, John. There can only be one. There can only be one. Yeah. All the time. Right. Right? He says to see, why don't you have me in the calendar? He says, well, I don't think a, I, I don't think a white woman or a white family could stand having a black man on their wall for 30 days. Wow. How about that? Right? How about that? And keep in mind, this is one of the most popular guys in the club. And I just want us to, like, like I, I, I want us to ride out on this. What do you think it is in a person's mind, a businessman, or any person's mind that, like, we can rock with you, mm -hmm. African-American soldiers, to help us defeat the South. Mm -hmm. But then, that 40 acres and a mule, a mule you're not going to get that. You're not getting that. We can release you from bondage and let you go off and do your own thing. But when you start getting too successful... Uh yeah, white woman got raped. We need to burn this whole town down. Crazy. Like what? Like what do you think that is? That's in a, in those t in people that have that kind of mindset. It's it's terrible. It's you know I was thinking about when the slaves were released. It's like you can go like, but where do we go? We have no education. We have no resources. And right. everyone out here is going to take us down. Right. So some would argue that Jim Crow was almost worse than slavery. Mm -hmm. Not worse, but it, it parallel because you you can go. We about to make it real challenging for you, cats. Very challenging for a long, long time. Yes, you let your kid out the house and they fire. You're probably gonna come back home like it's cold out here. Where do I go? Right, right. We don't have the resources to survive, and unfortunately, even though some of us have done well and gotten educations, the system still set us for us set against us. We don't have those resources to really survive in mm. a lot of ways, and it's challenging. The mindset that people have that set this up is awful, it's sickening, and we can only hope that it changes. Maybe not in our lifetime, but maybe in our grandkids. And it all leads back to you ain't swack. You're not swack. That's why he should have stayed. Well, listen. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that bag, though. You know, My brother you know, got to go get that five mil like, at, that at, at, at uh, Colorado. Exactly. I want to thank you all for tuning in. We back in Technicolor now. Again, yeah, it is. the measurables slash Den of Thinking Men, powered by Revolt. Mm -hmm. That's what's up, man. Shot by my brother, Cali Vision. Cali Vision, always getting it done. Yeah, Cali Vision. When you see this brother in the street, you definitely going to know he Cali, too. And to quote the great Kenneth C. Omer, we're going to finish strong and be strong when we finish. Hey, man. Thank you very much. Have a great one. Yes, Peace. Lord. Yes, Lord. You start the fire.